Ice Spice is about to ruin her career. We back on the Spice bag, bro. Ice Spice oh, is damn. about. Scared the shit out of me. Hold on, bro. Before we put Spice on the screen, bro. So we got another Ice Spice video. If y'all vibing with the Ice Spice videos, you know, let me know in the comments. Let me know during the chat, during the video. It doesn't matter. But anyway, we don't watch uh more Ice Spice. Ice Spice is about to ruin her career despite she having like, the love of the hey, people for the doing... past two years and working no, no. with people like pink panthers Nicki minaj and even taylor swift it seems as though the ties are turning on ice spice and her downfall might be here sooner rather than later and with her debut studio album just around the corner it's safe to say that ice spice career is about to hit a make or break point but to truly understand what i mean let's just talk about it people have been preying on ice spice's downfall since oh, she yeah, burst man. into the scene with the release of Munch. Though many dismissed her as a one-hit wonder that would quickly disappear, Ice Spice has proven to be more resilient than people gave her credit for. Yeah. Ice Spice went from wonder, being bro. a one-hit wonder to a two-hit wonder to eventually solidifying herself as a name in music. However, that just created even more allegations for her to fight. Not necessarily criminal level allegations, but a lot of people claim that Ice Spice was nothing more than an industry plan, which in the decade that we live in is probably the worst thing you can be called as an artist being an industry not really plant, i guess it? because like there's there's like high key so many artists that are like considered industry plants now like fucking ian uh von off 1700 uh i mean ice spice there's like there's a name a few but there's a lot that are like that and i don't know it hasn't been an issue so i don't i don't know it hasn't stopped them from doing anything you feel me another way of saying an artist doesn't deserve to be where they are and the narrative around ice spice was always that with a repetitive flow and simple lyric the overnight success of ice spice just seemed about fishy later. to some people and though it's hard to prove that you're not an industry plant all you really do to shake off those allegations and dismiss the label is to prove people wrong which is is exactly what Ice Spice set out to do. And as 2022 became 2023, Ice Spice had some tricks up her sleeve. Working alongside Pink Panthers, Ice Spice would be included on the remix to Boy's Liar, and let's just say that the song did great. Peaking inside the top three of the Billboard Hot 100, not only was Pink Panther's biggest hit, it was also oh God, the biggest know? hit for Ice Spice, who was now becoming a mainstream name. And not just that, Ice Spice would also find herself working alongside Taylor Swift, which in 2024 is a oh, pretty yeah, big fucking deal, man. You know how big you gotta be for Drake to use you as a weapon for how big you are with streaming numbers? My point is that you could be a big star and having a song with Taylor Swift will still be a pretty big deal. But then again, Ice Spice wasn't that. She was that established wild, in a way, real. but even that was shaky. Basically, all I'm really saying is God himself was blessing Ice Spice at this point and her name only grew from that moment. When Barbie was set to release, which was, by the way, one of the biggest movies of 2023, and I'd reckon to say the biggest was event really? of 2023. It was Ice Spice who found herself in the center of attention alongside with Nicki Minaj with the release of Barbie World. The Damn, song bro. skyrocketed to the top 10 of the top 100, becoming Ice Spice's fourth song to do so. But more notably, it was also the second. So just, just for the record, that's four billboards she has. So someone in my comment section before said she only had one. For you niggas that don't do research, you got four, and that, that there you go. <laughs> Now you can't just say one, one with Nick Minaj on board. Anyways, I think we all know how crazy the bards can get when you are against them. But it yeah. goes both ways at the same time. When it comes to being ride or die, they really are ride or die. And I'm not saying that being alongside Nick Minaj is gonna make you automatically successful, but it goes a long way, doesn't it? And in case you need any more proof, by the end of 2023, Ice Spice was everywhere. Her songs continued to rack up streams on Spotify and go viral on TikTok. And and outside of the music, she was finding herself in commercials for Dunkin' Donuts and Sorry. The reality is that you can no longer dismiss Ice Spice as just a one-hit wonder. Not only was she established in hip-hop, she was established in pop. And hell, I would even say she was established outside of music as a whole. And oh, if yeah. everything went right, Ice Spice could build an empire, a nice five-year run at the top of the game. But that's not exactly what happened. And I think the turning point here was when she released Think You The Shit, in parentheses, fart. Think You The <laughs> Shit, bitch? You're not even the fart. Here's the thing. There are <laughs> artists where if their music is exceptional enough, that's it so transcends funny. how bad of a person they are. And then there are artists where their music might be trash, but they're just that much of a cult of personality. And I don't think Ice Spice is either of those, to be honest with you. And I think this song was what marked the beginning of the end. 
or Makes at sense. least the beginning of a bumpy road because though funny thank you to shit bitch you not even a fart is a line so bad that it can ruin your career and but but it was trendy and it was like something that was repeated by like a lot of people and shit like that so that's why i don't know like you can hate on it all you want like i'm not trying to be like you know that guy supporting her or something like that but i'm just saying like you can't hate on the success that shit had like yeah it was called fart and shit but like bruh people played the fuck out of that like they repeated the lines like they it was trendy as fuck it's like does it does it really matter it's like what did her like a, her rap ability go down because she put out a song like that why it's like she probably can still like spit bars at some point if she really wanted to but that uh that kind of song works you know what i mean that's what people want to hear i guess it's like high key they want to hear it but they don't know they want to hear it until they hear it and that's what happens and that's how that shit is popular but her spitting bars i mean she can spit bars now it's like the thing is she could do that now and she'll probably get more attention doing that for real that's like she doesn't usually do it so spitting bars will probably get her fucking even more noticed Honestly. And I know she's not the only one to do this and rappers do poop bars do and shit wants. bars and fart bars. But if there's one rule that I will always insist on, at least when it comes to hip hop and life in general, is that you can make a poop bar or a fart bar. But at the end of the day, it will always be shitty, especially as a single, because yeah, most rappers do have poop bars, but they get away with it because it's like the 10th track on a 15 track album. Like, I don't know, man. I feel like someone at management should have caught this. But while we're at it, the reason why I think this song is the turning point that it is, is because this song is also a diss track. Thing is for me, why am I like, why am I seeing that I'm in the back of your weak ass snippet like that's why right. i was oh, literally like so oh, wow. i was like wait a second that's me so i'm like okay since we're talking <laughs> about me let's talk about me and i dropped that i haven't cared much for the lotto beef if i'm being honest but it's safe to say that the two had been beefing for a while and though i spice had ignored it this was the song with which she decided to finally respond and honestly as of this track this works even worse and it's not just me thinking it it's the general audience because not only does this mark the beginning of, hey, you know, Ice Spice's music isn't that good. It also marked the beginning of, you know what, Ice Spice. I mean, if, you, if it took you that long to notice, her music was never, in, I don't think, intentionally not good. It was just like, it's it's like bangers in the club, right? For for women. Like, that's it. And I feel like that's all it was supposed to be, you know, and, and she fit the, the look and the aesthetic and the, the songs fit. And that's what worked, you know? And I feel like that. What, what's wrong with that? Like she rolled with that and it worked. But now I feel like now it is time. Spice's for personality is That's not all that. Right we don't need to grant her loyalty. And this isn't me hating on Ice Spice, or at least I'm not trying to. But in comparison like to again. other artists, <laughs> when the general audience finally turn on them and their fans stick through and stay loyal, they've at least been on top of the game for like five years or more. Like Drake might be able to survive the Kendrick Lamar avalanche, 100%. but that's because be he's right. been on top of the game for a decade and a half. Nicki Minaj might survive everybody hating on her, but that's because she's been on top of the game for a decade and a half. Taylor Swift managed to survive people calling her a snake, but that was because she was on top of her game for a decade. But there's a reason why Chance the Rapper didn't survive the horrible, wasn't on top horrible of crime of putting out a bad album. Or in other words, Ice Spice could be the next chance rapper. Ah! Ice Spice has only been around for two years, which isn't enough to up, gather that much love from the public. Which is why Y2K is a make or break album for Ice Spice. Because in the last few months, Ice Spice has become a polarizing figure in the eyes of the public. Not only was she caught talking about Nicki Minaj behind her back, but she also finds herself in the middle of drama with Central C and his ex-girlfriend oh, yeah. and her potentially Never being mind. a home wrecker. Honestly, it's the type of thing I don't pay that much attention to but her fans do and and well at the end of the day as an artist that's all you have and because yeah. ice spice is relatively new if she fails with y2k i would have to doubt that she will ever be as big as she was for the last year but if she succeeds which is definitely possible there's no yes. telling who can stop ice spice it would just be another reminder of why ice spice is just unstoppable but if she were to fail which is definitely a big possibility, if not a bigger possibility, then she would only have herself to blame and her lack of improvement. But will she fail? Will she succeed? Only time can tell. It can definitely go either way, but something inside of me is telling me that Ice Spice really is about to ruin her career. Damn, bro. Damn. 
bro. What y'all think, bro? Her career about to be ruined or what? Let me know.